Hey guys, good afternoon. This is Dan. Welcome to Angle Guys. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much. Let's just get into today's forecast. This is for July 25th, Saturday. It's not necessarily only set on that day. It is a message for the highest good for the greater collective. Therefore, if you're watching it on a date that's not the 25th, that's completely okay. The message still makes sense to you. It might apply to your life. You have to use it wherever you see fit. Um, let's see what the energy is. I am going to move quickly through this because I'm running way behind today. So let me see. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, so we have the Six of Swords, or is this the Seven? He's laying on the Seventh Sword. I think this is, oh, it is the Seven, because we have the VII. Alright, so this is the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is kind of like the Liar, Cheater, Stealer card, if I'm not mistaken. To me, I feel like the Fox is very sly, right? Foxes are usually uh, okay symbols, and uh, to me, when I look at this uh, card, it makes me think that not the whole truth is not being told to us that something is sort of going unnoticed, something is not quite seen, there's something that sort of we might need to be made aware of, or that we are becoming aware of, that's the one eye open in the fox's face. To me, it's like we might be, something might be being revealed to us, or uh, we might be um, just sort of becoming aware. I don't think that this is necessarily a super bad card, although it does feel to me like there is something going on in the background that we're maybe... Um, just starting to finally figure out. This is strange. Again, this is this fox reminds me of that dragon's eye at the beginning of the week. It's like that one eye that's sort of peering out, watching everything. And we had that, is it, what was it, nine of wands? Nine of wands was the underneath energy. So It just sort of feels to me like there's something that's not being said, something that's not being revealed. Sorry guys, I'm super tired today. I slept really poorly last night. Let's get the next card. This is going to be probably the world's fastest. Um, uh, forecast. transformation. I think now we've gotten every air element <laughs> this month. Swords. So we still have double air. We're like too much in our heads. Same as yesterday. Double air. We had like the five of swords and oh no no we had the five of pentacles. It was the day before it was five of swords and um, the nightingale. We still had air yesterday though with that bat. What is going on? I feel like we're way too much in, up in our heads. I feel like with the seven of swords something might be more, it might be coming clear to us or being revealed to us. We might be paying extra close attention under a little bit of scrutiny. With this butterfly, I do like this butterfly, but butterfly is always a symbol for transformation. I think that it's up for us to transform whatever is going on with us, whatever we are sort of reluctant to, whatever we may be hiding from or not wanting to look at. That could also be some of this Seven of Swords energy. Uh, we have to sort of face it. I feel like this butterfly is facing this fox, kind of trying to look at it, bring the light in, bring in the opportunity to transform a situation that doesn't necessarily feel great to us. Um, mm, let me see what the grounding stone is. I don't know. I'm not really feeling very inspired to read today, guys. So we have wisdom. Again, this speaks to this sort of knowledge that's coming through in this Seven of Swords. Pay close attention today, you guys. I do feel like with this um, with this fox is curled up to me, it feels like we are paying attention, we are gleaning some sort of information or some sort of understanding from a situation that we didn't otherwise have before. We might feel somewhat slighted, right? But now is an opportunity to sort of gather our wisdom about us, gather a little bit more wisdom about a person or say situation that might not be totally on the up and up and hopefully transform it. Um, move above it, move beyond it with that energy of the butterfly. So let me look. I'm going to read to you the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is secrecy, secrecy and self-interest. 
Six swords hang in plain view, while the seventh is tucked under the sly fox's tail. So goes the story of the Seven of Swords. A secret is being kept. You are either the keeper or the kept from, and it's time to identify which. Deceit and avoidance linger in the air. F face the cause of secrecy or risk ostracizing yourself. I don't get the feeling that we are the ones holding the secrets. I feel like we are the ones sort of slowly watching. That's the singular eye of the fox. We're watching situations and they're starting to show themselves to us in different ways. People's behavior is starting to indicate certain things. Um, it's that sort of an energy to me. I think that as, the longer we stay quiet and observant, the more is going to be revealed to us. Let's see, where is Butterfly here? That's Dragonfly, Nightingale, Peacock. Sorry guys, I'm still looking for it here. Butterfly. Undergoing great change and transformation, the energy of the butterfly is with us during periods of transition since air is the element of the heart. This change usually involves relationships or if you love your job, perhaps your career. Since transition is accompanied by some amount of discomfort, and extra patient and be extra patient and kind during this time, especially if the butterfly is you. Let solid friends and activities support you like a cocoon, committing to, a daily, to one daily routine, a meal, practice, or prayer. Done at the same place and time will do wonders for lifting a butterfly's spirit. When it's in balance, cheerful and graceful, when it's out of balance, it's fragile and frustrated. Uh, to bring it into balance, focus on your daily routine. So, I feel like there's an opportunity for us to transform stuff, change it, maybe change even our path, our trajectory, that sort of thing. But we need to become aware of what is in our path or what is sort of happening around us, to us, uh, sort of maybe even through us. That's the Seven of Swords energy. Something is being revealed. We need to take this wisdom and ground in it. We need to make sort of like solid decisions from this wisdom, from this reveal or this sort of awareness that comes to the forefront and allow that awareness to transform us. That's gonna like sort of create us, like move us forward, I feel like is that movement in the butterfly. I'm not exactly sure what this is for most of you. You're going to have to like apply it or pay, I just feel like that Seven of Swords tells me today is the day to be extra observant of those around you, how they interact with you, how they talk to you. Some of the things they may be saying may not be actually what they mean, and vice versa. If you're doing this with others, maybe some of the things you're saying to people isn't exactly how you feel. These are things you need to sort of address and transform, become wise about, right? And uh, utilize that wisdom to sort of propel you forward. Um, Still stay in gratitude is my feeling. I'm sorry this isn't the most stellar of readings, but I'm just super wiped out. It's already two o'clock here. Normally I have this done early in the morning and I'm just running way, way behind. So um, that is your forecast for the day. Thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs> uh, hopefully tomorrow's will be better. I have class all day tomorrow, so we'll see. I'm gonna try and get up early and get it done. Um, I hope I get a better night's sleep tonight, and I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for tuning in, and um, just be observant today. Stay aware and um, utilize whatever sort of information or awareness that you glean from the day and from the observations of the day to make you all the more wise. Use that wisdom to sort of transform you into what you need to be. Have a good day. I love you. Take care. Bye-bye.